graph comprises of edges and vertices. So let's say we have a graph which comprises of five vertices. V1, V2, V3, um, V4, and V5. Okay. Now, uh, these are vertices. And now let's create edges. So we have an edge from V1 to V3. Okay. And then let's say from V3 to V4. All right. V4 to V1. Okay. V4, V1 to V5. And V3 to V5 to V3. And then V5 to V2. V2 to V3. All right. So this is a directed graph um, which has directions from one one vertex one vertex to the next so so we call it a, so we call it a directed graph because here v1 v5 is not the same as v5 v1 okay so now what now now what is adjacency matrix so if we have to name the edges which exist in this graph it's v1 v5 um, v4 v1 v1 v3 and v3 v4 v5 v3 v uh, v2 v3 and v5 v2 okay um, w w 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah so we have all the seven here so adjacency matrix is a simple idea where we represent the where we represent these edges in the form of rows and columns all right one two three four five one two three four five okay so we'll just draw the lines just to differentiate okay now now v1 v5 okay v1 v5 so we'll mark one one here then v4 v1 v4 v1 we'll, we'll mark one here and v1 v3 okay v1 v3 so we'll mark one here v3 v4 v3 v4 will mark one here v5 v3 will mark one here v2 v3 um v2 v3 will mark one here and lastly v5 v2 okay so v5 and v2 so, so we'll mark one here right and the rest of them will be marked as zero so if i have to represent this in the form of an equation so a i j is equal to one if uh, if v i comma v j uh, belongs to the edges that is the set okay or zero if v i and v j does not belong to this set so we represent this adjacency matrix in this form of an equation okay and so this was for a directed graph okay what if we were to represent an undirected graph so if we are representing an so in an undirected graph v1 and v5 and v5 and v1 is the same thing okay so here we have marked v1 and v5 as one and so if it is an undirected graph we'll mark v1 and v5 v5 v1 okay and v3 v4 v3 v4 is same as v4 v3 okay so v4 v3 will mark one here okay and uh, v5 v3 okay v5 v3 v5 uh, and, and v5 v3 is same as v3 v5 okay so we'll mark one here and uh, v1 v3 and v1 v3 is v3 v1 again we'll mark one here um, v5 v2 is v2 v5 we'll mark one one here and v v2 v2 v3 is same as v3 v2 so we'll mark one here also right um and v and v4 v1 is same as v1 v4 so we'll mark one here as well so this is this adjacency matrix it's for undirected graph okay so uh, so you can, so you can see that in an undirected graph this pretty much looks like a very symmetric matrix. We can see the, because here is the diagonal, which is, which is represented by zeros. We can see the, we can see reflection of each, each element here. Okay. This is the reflection here. Also, there is a reflection here. Also, there is a reflection and here also there is a, there is a, there is a reflection. So it's a so it is a symmetry matrix. So it's a symmetric matrix when when it is an undirected graph. Um, so this is so it's a symmetric matrix when when the cases of an undirected graph because v one v five is same as v five v one. All right, and adjacency and adjacency matrix requires O of n square. So for the time complexity of an adjacency matrix, if the number of if n is the number of vertices. 
the time complexity for of, of an adjacency matrix is O and of O of n squares. Okay, uh, this is irrespective of the number of edges we have in the graph. All right. 